Did LEGO ever make sets based off of Jim Henson's classic, The Labyrinth? No, they did not. But I'm going to show you how to make David Bowie's Jareth out of LEGO minifigures. Let's get into it. Starting off with the top, we have got the most difficult thing. It is his hair. In my previous video, I asked you guys to help me out and try and figure out what hair piece I should use for this guy. And I kept seeing over and over again to use the Series 15 Wrestling Champion. And that's this style right here, which looks great, especially for like Ziggy Stardust style David Bowie. But for Jareth, it's... <sighs> Jareth has bangs, it's tossed all over the place, and it's even going in the front. This is just a straight up mullet. Like, see, that hairstyle would look great for this era of David Bowie. Now, there was another hairstyle that I thought would look great for this minifig, and it's number 99242, which is this style right here. And wouldn't you freaking know it? It's got the David Bowie lightning bolt twice. There's one on the face, too. But Lego never made it in this color. So we gotta take all of that stuff into consideration, and I did the best compromise that I think we could do, which is I'm just going to use the tousled hairstyle that you can find on Luke Skywalker. And that tousled hairstyle came out in a bunch of different minifigures. You can use the blonde or even the medium nougat or the dark tan. For the face, we're gonna go with Magpie. I love the eyeshadow. Now, you might be saying to yourself, Magpie, that's a woman. Seriously? Seriously, you're gonna be nitpicking about it right now? Especially when you've got David Bowie in the mix, you're going to complain about a man's head versus a woman's head? No, Magpie is perfect. Moving on to the torso, he's just wearing a straight up pirate outfit. So my initial thought was to check out Pirates of the Caribbean. I thought William Turner was pretty good, but ultimately I went with Philip Swift. And he only appeared in one set, the White Cat Bay. And you're gonna make sure that you grab light nougat hands as well as any pair of white arms that you can find. And then for the legs, he's got gray pants and black boots. Now you could choose between either a light gray or a dark gray. Either one of them work. But let's grab the legs either from the raccoon costume fan or the Miles Morales Spider-Man. For his accessories, we're going to give him a crystal ball. And then we're going to build a staff for him as well. Clap all those pieces together and you have got Jareth from the Labyrinth. Ah, uh, I like it. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I like it. But let's daydream a little bit here. Since a lot of you had suggested this hair piece, I'm going to show you what it looks like. And it don't look good. <laughs> but let's continue the daydreaming. Let's just assume that Lego made this piece in the correct hair color. And it came down a little bit like Jareth's does. And this is what it would look like. Oh, I friggin love it. I think that this is a fantastic homage to this character. I absolutely love the way that this ends up looking out and hopefully someday Lego makes a hairstyle that's similar to this. Or they just give us a labyrinth themed Lego set. I really hope you get the chance to make this minifigure and if you've got any suggestions for future videos or if you've got any comments on this minifigure, let me know down below. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and as always, this is Mikey Brickman saying thank you for watching.